The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the uh, October 28th. Yep, it is the October 28th magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's have an extraordinary one. Yep, let's have an extraordinary day. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but much more important than that. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, we've got you covered. Let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email, steve at tfn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question in our Tiger's Den. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Les Show. Right now, we got all the indices in the green, including the spot volatility index. It's up 30 cents, trading at 12.95. Hmm, something to think about. You've got the Dow up 87. The S&P is up 16. The S&P is up about a half a percent. The index 100, nearly one full percentage point, trading out at 81.04. Russell's up one percent. The semis are up one and a half percent, trading out at 16.74. That's up 26 bucks. Gold's off 10. Silver up. Nickel. Light sweet crude down about. 79 cents natural gas up natural gas is up 10 uh, the 30-year uh, bond is up about a full point uh, leading the charge to the upside Google's up 31 dollars trade down to 1295 Tiffany's up 30 bucks um, Sanderson's farm is up 19 Spotify 16 things to look at to the upside to the downside it is Chipotle off 14 bucks uh, Dorman Products is off eight. Blueprint Medicines down eight. Wayfair down seven forty. So my mic sounds distant. That's a bummer. Um, yeah, it's this new machine, this new setup here. So um, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Sorry for the distant sound on the mic, but uh, lots to do here to set this uh, new little puppy up. Uh, during the break, uh, guys in the uh, uh, studio, let's try to mess around with it. Okay, good enough for you guys, Tucker and Mark. Um, I can hear a difference, too, even inside my ears, but uh, I can't hear that well. Okay, so let's just let's just keep it uh, let's just keep it uh, rolling. So uh, um, let's go to our first question. First question coming in from uh, Tim Tim M. Tim writes in, "Hey Steve, hope you had a great weekend. I did. Hope you did as well. Would you like to? Would you please look at crude oil from the daily time frame?" So let's go take a look at crude oil. Let's put this uh, chart up here, uh, only because I can see a couple things that um, Tim is mentioning. So Tim goes on to say, I'm long by USO from uh, a certain price point, Friday's close in the crude contract close, to the tick uh, of the top of the uh, TAS daily profile, as well as completing a TD nine count plus one day. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna share with Tim that that's not exactly the case, at least with regard to the TD nine count. So the question is more upside, time to ring the register and much to know where key support is and so forth. So Tim, first of all, uh, today is or could be day number seven of a TD setup nine count out here. So when we take a look at this chart, first of all, you're, you're absolutely correct. Price did hit resistance, which is the top of the uh, profile out there, 56.93. It did that here this morning. At least the profile levels on my white background charts coming from Ninja Trader. Sometimes the e signal profiles are slightly different, but we're just going to go with this for the moment out here. Um, 
And so price hit resistance. Now that doesn't mean sell necessarily. It means it is a price target where somebody could take money off the table. But hitting resistance just means it's kind of like, uh, you know, many folks out there. Tim, I don't know if you've had this. I don't know if you're an athlete or it doesn't really you don't have to be an athlete. It's just kind of the easiest thing uh, for me is, you know, when you're playing sports, no matter what it is, could be baseball, could be tennis, could be golf, could be bowling, whatever, you kind of get to a threshold of X resistance. And it's just the universe testing you to see if you really want to bust through it. Now, we don't know if price is going to bust through resistance here in light sweet crude or not, but stopping in that area and pulling back would, is, is nothing unusual out here. You don't have a topping pattern per se other than resistance. So as I mentioned, today could be bar number seven of a TD setup nine count, but that means that today's close must be above bar number three. Visually looking on my screen, that looks like that is going to occur. Now, in this TD setup nine count pattern, Tim, you're taking a look at each day's close. You're comparing it to the close of four bars earlier. You have to have nine consecutive bars out there. So you're bar number one. Just watch us on Tiger TV uh, or catch the uh, archive of this, which I'm sure will be posted in an hour or so, and you'll see that we're in day number seven. Uh, so uh, no top. I know you wanted to go ahead and be able to put the top See, the chart's not coming through. That's a real problem. Hmm. Wow. Okay, I don't know what to do there. That's a, but we'll, we'll try to get all these things fixed here. Um, uh, that would be a real bummer if you can't see my chart. Uh, in any event, I'm just going to have to keep going here with the uh, flow. So you don't have bar number seven, or you don't have a TD setup nine count. Let's go take a look at, let me just take a look at light sweet crude here. Oh, you were looking for support and resistance. So you have the profiles, but uh, the first level of support on the way down would be 54.65. That is Stevie's red line out there. Uh, that would be natural for price to pull back to that level of support, hopefully test it and reject it uh, for you. Um, let's come over here, take a look at uh, this set of charts. Boy, those are small numbers. So now we've got the 4K monitors out here. Of course, when I tell you, if you if you saw my office in the room here, you would be like, you'd get the willies out there. Uh, but here we do have, uh, I've got the willies, so to speak. You can see there is a new profile, okay, that is attempting to form. You know, why does this thing, all these things are saying, monthly, but it's not monthly. So Tim, there is a new profile that is attempting to form. Now this is using, eh, it just went away. Um, you can see the color of the bar is orange. So there's a new set of profiles that are that are attempting to form out here that'll provide you and I with some new, should provide you and I with some new support and resistance levels uh, tomorrow. But they're not in place right now. Your question was, is it time to get out? I don't know what your, what your outcome was when you got into the trade. The only thing I can say is you knew had this picked up as price hit resistance. We can see a slightly different profile level here using the e-signal uh, set of profiles, which is totally fine. And, uh, uh, and at this stage here, you haven't taken, you haven't taken profits. Um, I don't see the reason to do that just yet. So Tim, I hope that helps you out uh, and hope that helps you out with regard to the TD setup nine count for light sweet crude on the daily time frame. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So, uh, hey, I'm going to try to do this because I do want, uh, I want, you know, I certainly wanted uh, Tim to be able to see the chart. And so uh, we're trying to get this resolved. I don't think we'll get it all resolved here. Well, oh, that's not good. Uh, that's okay. Um, now we're going to make it good. So I'm just going to post charts individually out here for the uh, moment that way. And let's see if this works a little bit better for you. So inside the Tiger's Den, you might have to do something different, but this should now be my chart for Lightsweed Crude, and uh, the guys will be able to post that into Tiger TV. That way, Tim has got access to it. So we're taking a look at that. I had mentioned before or earlier, um, you see, when you upgrade like this, uh, it's supposed to be things are supposed to be better, not worse. Uh, that's okay. We're just going to work through the humps here. I'm going to go ahead and actually post the uh, daily time frame chart here, the e-signal background chart. Um, it's got the profiles out there. See those two that you write. Didn't get anything yet on your end. So that's a problem. So I'm posting these things. Hmm. Real bummer out there. Wow. Yeah, that's a real bummer. I can see what you guys are getting is not good. Well, uh, folks, so I've got some work to do here. So uh, what I'm going to do is my best job to kind of explain to you what's going on. And my apologies that you cannot see the uh, charts. Well, that one sort of posted. No, that's not working either. Wow, what a bummer. What a bummer. What a bummer. Okay, well, uh, so uh, so be it. And yeah, Peter says, I guess, kind of like a kid, a kid on Christmas Day when you don't have the batteries, so to speak. Um, so, uh, um, Tim, what I'm going to do is I will find a way to get a copy of that uh, daily chart for I'll like to recruit and I'll email it to you. That way you've got that and you won't get uh, dizzy. And for all of you uh, watching on Tiger TV, my apologies and inside then as well, but we'll get these things figured out here over the course of the next couple of days, hopefully sooner than that. So let me go to my second question out here. The second question, and please keep them coming now. It's really going to be easier. Okay. So Tim, uh, so Tim's got it. He's listening. So that's great. And, uh, uh, Robert writes in, and Robert basically says that he would like to go along natural gas via UNG, and uh, what do the patterns look like right now? Of course, I'm paraphrasing uh, uh, that question out here, but if we take a look at natural gas, and I know you can't take a look at the same chart that I am, my apology for that. 
no idea why out here. And uh, you do have natural gas uh, trading above the top of its uh, daily profile out there. And it does look like what the, and I'm looking at the November natural gas contract here, Robert. It looks like that natural gas is on its way up to the $2.63 area. $2.63 is going to be the high from the trading session of September 19th. So with regard to your uh, UN, UNG trade, I would use the high of September 19th as your price target. Just your target. It's really going to be, should natural gas get up to that level, regardless of what the UNG is trading at that stage, that is when natural gas will hit its next area of resistance, assuming that it continues to close above the top of its daily profile out there. Now, even though you can't see it out here, I want to go take a look at another set of charts out here, my black background charts. I just want to see what the uh, profiles look like there. So if you'd be kind enough to give me a break, here we go. And by the way, natural gas trading out at $2.39 out here. Yeah. And then when I take a look at my other profiles, I don't have any other levels of resistance for you and I to take a look at. So your question was, you know, should you go ahead and enter that trade now? Um, God, this was going to be really cool because I was going to uh, show you this uh, new set of charts that I put together uh, for you, and now nobody can see it. But I'm just going to try to explain to you. So remember how we take a look at the different time frame charts out there, folks, and you and I, we, we look for support and resistance, and that's certainly something that um, Robert here is looking for. And oftentimes, you and I just take a look at a 30 minute time frame. We take a look at the TD setup nine counts out there. We try to understand, you know, where is it that price would find support? Uh, in the case of the natural gas contract right now, and in the future, I'll certainly be able to show you this. But what I have is one chart, and on one chart, it shows us a 30, a 60, and a two hour time frame. And that same set of charts shows the uh, support and resistance levels, those TD nine uh, levels out there for those three time frames, as well as the current count that is in place as we speak. So I don't have a topping signal per se uh, for the 30, 60, or the 120 minute time frame. Natural gas has pulled back out here. And so um, what I would suggest is, is trying to buy this on a retracement. The problem is going to be, Robert, is trying to time a short-term pullback uh, which may occur not during market hours out there. But UNG has had a nice run today. I would, I would just still be patient and look to buy some pullback versus getting into it uh, just, uh, just at the uh, moment out here. So the price on natural gas, if we were to pull back, is in that 230 area. And uh, it's 2.33, that is the top of the daily box out there. So my suggestion would be try to, uh, try to buy a pullback out here try to see if natural gas will pull back into either that level that's that 233. Let me see where Stevie's red line is at. It's actually even less than that. It's at about 230. So I think that would be your ideal pullback unless we see some type of bottoming pattern, a TD9 count or something for a 30 minute or a 60 minute time frame out there, Robert. I think you know how to uh, how to do those counts. So I would just get that intraday time frame out there for the natural gas contract and uh, watch to see if those patterns unfold out there. So uh, those are the questions that we have at the moment. Would certainly love to hear from, oh, I got another one here. Bill writes in, oh, the mic sounds good, loud and clear. All right, well, that's good. Nothing like, and uh, we got Tom G. Okay, um, where we go? Okay, yeah, keep these cards and letters coming if you would. So Tom G, haven't heard from Tom for a while. Tom, nice to hear from you. I entered a long trade on the TVIX. I'd like to hear your opinion on VXX short term. So if I take a look at the spot volatility index, and I mentioned earlier that it is trading a bit higher. When I say a bit higher, it's trading out at 1545. It's up, uh, I take that back, it's trading at 1297. Uh, it's up 32 pennies. And uh, you have the uh, S&P futures up 17, nearly 18 points right now. So a bit unusual. So we do have a rising VIX pattern that is out here. You know, ideally, Tom, um, what we would see would be some type of pattern um, out here. So your TBIX, let me see here, TBIX, just to get my head wrapped around it, is that going long the VIX? I believe it is. I just want to make sure that it is going long the VIX. Um, let me pull this back here a bit. And yeah, so the I believe that it is. TBIX would be 
going along the spot, uh, would be going along, well, not the spot volatility exit, it would be the two contracts that are inside that uh, ETF or ETN uh, at this, uh, it's an ETN out there at this stage of the game. So here's what I would like to, so you, what you're looking for is an actual top inside of the ES Mini. Here. And so if we take a look at the uh, ES Mini, it did form a top, a 30 minute time frame. Uh, it did form a top at uh, a nine count top, I should say, at 11 o'clock this morning. And uh, here's what I would, here was what I would be looking for. It does appear to me at this stage here. Look. Let's come back from this breakout here. I'm going to talk to the uh, to the guys in the studio, see if there's any way that we can get these charts fired up here so that you can take a look at it, Tom can take a look at it, and see what I'm actually looking at. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Give me the hot sign. Hey, welcome, folks. Uh, so we are still uh, trying to come up with some solutions here. Um, and uh, there should be a chart 
uh, right now just showing the actually showing the continuous contract for the NQ and it's actually showing looks like the daily horizontal trading ranges out there um, with the uh, next one from a daily perspective even though it's a monthly time frame is 81.44 we're trading 81.14 so that's an area of resistance out there but um, uh, so I want to get back to Tom's question and and so in the case of uh, Tom's question here what I was really trying to show and maybe this will show up uh, you guys in the den some to give me some some high signs if you see something this is just a single chart it's a 30 minute time frame chart for the es mini and so tom what this was what i wanted to show you on this chart was at least from a short term standpoint we have we do have a valid topping pattern inside the es mini and so not until price were to close above uh, 30 42 75 if price moves above 30 42 75 you should see the the spot volatility next move lower out here. That's the theory behind it. Remember, it doesn't always work that way because those vehicles that you're trading are really the futures contracts, which I would put up on my screen right now, uh, but uh, but I'm not going to do that. You guys can't see it, and I, I don't. I don't know. I'd have to spend a little bit of time uh, developing that. So you're looking for the spot, but in summary. What Tom is trying to do is he's trying to play this, assuming that the S&P 500 is hit a significant high, and therefore the uh, spot volatility should continue to move um, higher out there. I'd say you'd be off to a decent start and on a short-term basis, but uh, what what's really required when you get a topping pattern out here, what's really required is that's the opportunity in this case here, a topping pattern for sellers to show us what kind of strength they have inside the move. And so the strength would be to push things down to support. Well, support, just so you know, Tom, on a 30-minute chart for the ES Mini, there are two levels right now, 3031, that's the bottom, it's 30-minute box, and then 3025, that is its breakout level. And those are the levels that you need to see the, in, in theory, the ES Mini closed below in order to suggest that there may be a change in trend, at least on a short-term basis. That's using that 30-minute uh, time frame chart out there. So, you know, you're asking me, what do I think? Um, I think that we don't have any kind of, on a daily chart, and I sure wish you guys could see this chart out here. It's a beautiful chart. What we don't have in the daily time frame for the ES Mini is any kind of topping signal. So to get it on a short-term basis and pull back, which it is, the ES Mini has pulled back, hasn't even gotten down to a level of support out here, I'd be very hesitant to get too tied into your trade out there and going along the uh, spot ball or going along those uh, VIX products out here. Um, in in essence, what the ES Mini is communicating to you and I, it's trading out at 3037. And one possibility, Tom, is that there's an A to B equal CD to the upside that is underway. And if that's the case, you're not going to get a lot of traction. Intraday, you can, and you're good at those short-term timing uh, patterns inside the uh, in, inside those volatility products out here. But right now, you and I would look at this chart here and we say, well, one possibility, and it's a serious possibility and a likely possibility, is what we're seeing as the ES Mini go going ahead and making a AB equals CD pattern to the upside. You're trading at 3038. The first price target, the one to one, takes you to 3105. Now, how are we going to know if price is actually going to make that move? Well, one thing that you want to be able to do, Tom, is take a look at those TAS market profiles. Now, I'm going to do that for you, and you're going to pay attention to the level. Now, the level you're going to pay attention to is 3032 and a quarter. That's about six points north of where we're trading right now. The reason that you're looking at that is because that is the top of the week weekly profile. So I don't know what the market's going to look like today at 4 o'clock or a little bit later when the ES mini contract closes. But if for some reason it does close below 3032, then you've got a level of resistance that is held. Likewise, the opposite, if you do see it close above 3032, then that's really suggesting to you and I uh, a likely possibility of that larger outcome, that A to B equals CD pattern uh, to the upside out there. So that, in essence, is what I'd be watching. Now, you can't see my charts, unfortunately, but this chart here is our four quadrant uh, chart. I know that Peter uh, Jay likes to look at this. There are no new profiles out there. I know that was a question earlier. Uh, what the NQ is doing, the NQ is trading above resistance, 80.71.75. That's the top of its weekly profile. The NQ as well has an A to B. Then, therefore, and as long as price stays above 80.71, uh, then what the NQ has is an A to B equals CD pattern. Now, its one-to-one -one price projection would take you up to 82.31. Now, 
Now, just be, and it's only in wave number five to the upside. I'm assuming that Basil covered those during his shows out there. But just because I give you a price target of 80, 231, that doesn't mean that's where the A to B equals CD pattern to the upside inside the NQ has to stop. It could easily go ahead and make a 1.272 expansion, which is 84.37. So in essence, when we take a look at the NQ out here, the NQ is busting out of resistance areas. Busting out of resistance areas. I'm going to go back just so I can take a look at the chart uh, that I tried to put up on the screen earlier. This was taking a look at our horizontal trading ranges for the NQ. And it's a monthly time frame chart out here, although it does have the uh, daily. Let me, let me actually, let me try to modify this chart here on the uh, fly. Let me get rid of the daily time frames. Let me see. There's the uh, and there's the weekly. So here I want to take a look. Here's our is our weekly horizontal trading ranges. So these are especially helpful because they also provide us with support and resistance. But they are especially helpful when we are above resistance, right? When we're above resistance, we're in between maybe an A to B equals CD to the upside. We're trying to figure out where else is there some kind of pothole? Is there a pothole that is out here? And inside the NQ, that pothole, so to speak, and I mentioned the number earlier that might have been the daily number, the weekly number is 8141. And we're at 8112. So for all intents and purposes, that's a number that the NQ should be able to get to. And if you see it close above that, that says that it wants to continue moving higher. Its next horizontal trading range from a weekly perspective would be 8491. So and what I don't have out here, I'm gonna let me see what I let me see what I do and I don't have. If I look at the NQ 30 minute chart, if only you could see this, we'll get this figured out so that you can, no topping pattern whatsoever. So whereas the ES mini 30 minute uh, had a topping signal, Tom. The NQ does not on a day on a uh, on a on a 30 minute basis. On a 60 minute basis, it's slightly different. It does have it is in bar the bar following bar number nine of a TD setup nine count. So you want to watch this closely. And the reason is is that if you continue to so this is a 60 minute chart. That means that the uh, current candle session is going to close at one at 2 p.m. If at 3 p.m. 4 p.m. There's a higher high. Now, when I say higher high, let me give you that number out here. It's a new mouse. Let me see how this works. All right. Uh, it's not working real well. I'm going to have to learn how to use this mouse. Oh, you saw the gun. It should have been simple. Ah, there we go. So if this trades above 81.21.50, 81.21.50, what you'll know is that this nine count pattern didn't slow down price. It just tells you of strong momentum. In fact, the last nine count on an hourly basis uh, took place at last night's open and price just moved sideways. That was it, just sideways. And then went ahead and took off uh, this morning. So Steve Rhodes with TFNN, I uh, will be right back. Hey, love to hear from you. I wanna answer your questions. And I'd love to show you visually what the charts are doing, but uh, we'll get that figured out. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Yeah, folks, so we may have found a little bit of a workaround out here. You should begin uh, seeing some uh, charts uh, right now, which you've got up on my screen. It's just my normal uh, kind of go-to uh, situation here. Just a normal main screen shows you what the market is doing. Dow's up uh, 117. S&P is up 17 points right now. So I'm hoping that's what you see uh, uh, on your uh, screens out there. And uh, so I'm just going to go back and, and since I don't have any other questions that are in right now, I'm just going to go back here and, and, share, and share a couple of those screens for, for everybody. And so, Tom, here's the ES Mini. You can see the TD set up nine count for a 30 minute time frame, but you're going to see, you're not going to see the TAS profiles, but you're going to see breakout support areas out here. And you'll see that they're at 3025, 3022, really, and 3000. So, in order for your trade uh, to work out from a longer term standpoint, you may be just trading it for an hour or two, I don't know. You really need to see a close below 30.25 out there. And if you see uh, the market, the ES Mini specifically, uh, take out the highs, take out the highs of the day so far, uh, then at that stage, I, I'd have to say you're on the wrong side of that trade. Uh, and uh, so it's working on Tiger TV now, okay, not in the den. Uh, thanks, Peter, for or Trader Joe, uh, um, for, uh, for letting us know that. So yeah, folks, uh, go to, uh, go. You know, well, do it. Do what you'd like, um, but take a look at the uh, take a look at Tiger TV to uh, grab that uh, screen. Uh, but th they'll they'll work on it in the uh, background. Let's try to figure it out. And so here was the ES Mini. Uh, and so if price is trading above those resistance levels, you can see the A to B equals CD pattern. You can see the one to one at 3105. Uh, this is in this leg here, the CD leg out here. It is in wave number uh, six. That's letter F. Uh, it's only in the TD setup bar number three out here. Possibly if we get to wave number seven or letter G, uh, which the earliest would be Wednesday. I'm not saying it happens on Wednesday. I'm saying that's the earliest that it could happen out here. Uh, you know, that could be a, a topping uh, signal. But uh, so right now, we really, you know, you got the short termer out there. But uh, I wouldn't. You know, I wouldn't get married. I would not get married to that trade uh, just uh, just yet. Now, look, folks, uh, they, we're up at these resistance levels, so certainly something could fail to create this uh, to create a failure out there. And the only signal that I have that suggests that that is still a uh, possibility out here is in taking a look at uh, this chart. Now, this chart that is up on our screen, at least on Tiger TV, is the New York Stock Exchange. And uh, and that's the top panel of the screen. The center panel is the advanced decline oscillator. Peter in Park City, he likes to take a look at uh, this. And uh, what you can see uh, in the uh, center right-hand side, Peter, what you'll notice that the advanced decline oscillator is not making a higher high. 
It's actually a lower high. It's actually a slightly lower low versus Friday out there. And uh, and we have do have the New York Stock Exchange at a higher closing high. And that type of divergence where price is going higher and the advanced decline oscillator is moving lower um, tells us of uh, at least a retracement. Now, it gets uh, it, it moves from a retracement to something more major than that, typically, if that advanced decline oscillator line gets below zero. It's at 80, it's at 65 right now. Um, it really things start getting rocking and rolling to the downside, New York Stock Exchange wise, when the advanced decline oscillator is below zero combined with the spot volatility index that is above its 50 day, which right now is priced at 1573. So this is the only chart out here. And I kind of segue into this for Tom's behalf because he's looking at trading the, uh, looking at the spot volatility index moving higher. And to do that, it means we really have to see some type of topping signals in the market, whereas I don't have them in the uh, in the ES specifically, uh, which is is impacting the his trade out there. I also don't have it in the NQ, um, and so uh, so we'll, you, you, you know you just we'll, we'll watch this. Uh, but I think this is not used so much as a timing tool. Instead, it's used as a tool to warn us of an impending uh, short term type top out there. But it really needs to go along with other patterns that we would take a look at. So okay, so that's where we're at there. Uh, I've had answered those questions. I believe, oh, Light Sweet Crude, I can go ahead and post this here. Uh, that'll be easier because it's going to be complicated for me to copy this chart and send it off to Tim anyways. But here, Tim, you can take a look at the TD counts out there. You can see Friday was bar number six today, should be bar number seven, as long as it closes above the close from bar number three. That would be four days ago out here. And then the natural gas one for Robert. So here's here's your natural gas um, contract. You can see prices above the uh, top of that uh, profile out there. You'll see Stevie's red line at 230. Um, here for Robert, this was one of the tools uh, that I was referring to just to make it easy for you and I uh, to, to, to have the information we need in a condensed time period. And that is where here we've got three different time frame charts. Now, this is especially important when you're looking at changes in trend, either to the upside or to the downside. In this case here, uh, the red lines are support, breakout support, the green lines are resistance. So what you can see is that natural gas, when it opened, gapped up above resistance on a 30-minute basis. Uh, that was a green line. It gapped up above resistance on the 60-minute basis. And uh, so for those two time frames, it's suggesting that we've got a change in trend. For those time frames, we would use those time frames to continue to monitor those charts to try to identify some type of uh, top or bottom out here. Uh, but again, what you'll see, Robert, is no real pattern that I like to use to help us identify a uh, top inside the uh, natural gas contract. And so we're hoping, you're hoping for a pullback to one of these areas. What I don't have is some type of pattern to say, yeah, go ahead and pull the trigger uh, right now. Okay, so we've gotten that taken care of out there. Um, so let's go take a look at some other things that are moving in the uh, market. So this is not a total repetitive show. Let's take a look at gold as an example. So you know, each of you know that Stevie believes that the charts here are very bearish with regard to gold. And in fact, that nothing could have been more bearish than uh, Friday's price action out there. You know, Tom always likes to say, can't hold price. Well, in this case here with regard to gold, it cannot hold price. And what it did was it rejected the top of that uh, daily box out there at 1509. And, and, and there's a trend line that we can draw from the from the highs out here. It rejected that as well. But what gold hasn't done, it hasn't busted through support. And it really needs to close below 1482.40. That's the bottom of its current profile out there if things are going to get rocking and rolling to the uh, downside. So let's go to our first caller out there. That's uh, Ray in Sarasota. Ray, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Hmm. Ray, do we have Ray? Yep, yep, I'm oh, here. Per perfect. Okay, great. You wanted to take a look at Yamana Gold, I believe. A-U-Y is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, tell me what you're doing, how I can help you. Uh, I've uh, had uh, somewhat of a long position in it for some time, and uh, I've on the last run-up, I uh, sold half my position, then it pulled back, and I kind of rebuilt it, and it just made a, a, another new high last week. And came out with a good earnings report, paid off half its debt, uh, beat estimates, and uh, I'm trying to figure out whether or not it's going to run a little higher now or we're faced with a, a pullback again. 
So uh, here's what we know, uh, and if you can wait through this break, but uh, just to, hopefully you can watch us on Tiger TV. And, and if you can, you're going to see that what price did last week is it hit resistance. The bottom of its daily profile, that was $3.69. That, um, and so when we get back from this break, let's go take a look. I'm not sure that that is actually the daily profile, but I'll get this all straight now when we come back, and we will take a look at Yamana Gold with Ray and Sarasota. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. back now folks we're on the line with uh, ray so uh, ray during that break was able to uh, straighten my charts out for us so now uh, when you do watch them the chart on the left hand side is the daily the center chart is the weekly time frame the one on the right is the monthly time frame but what we're looking at here are market profiles so one thing i'm just going to point out to our listeners i'm sure you're well aware of this is that um is that the amount of gold has been really trading sideways uh, ever uh, for the last three years and when yep. I take a look at sideways, I'm looking at the monthly set of profiles. And the monthly profile that formed, last time monthly profile formed in Yamada Gold was September of 2016. And the bottom of that box where price is trading below, the last three months we have seen Yamada Gold try to take out that level of resistance. It should have been support out here. And that was the uh, number that I had given you as we were going to break, which was $3.69. And I would say that you have sold this. You took off half your profit, something like that, or half your position? Uh, about uh, two or three weeks ago. Well, actually, I guess it was the last time it got up to okay. uh, the high. 
uh, what was it, 377 or 367. I took half off then, and then as it pulled back, I uh, rebuilt my position. Mm, okay. So you're up at resistance that it has not been able to close above on a monthly basis. It's October 28th uh, for three solid years out there. And that is where resistance is at. And I can't tell you why. I just know that it's clear as as, as anything. And so, uh, you know, whether I don't have any signals of a top, let's say, I can share with you that Yamana Gold um, ha is moving higher, doing less relative energy. If there were a bearish reversal candle that would form, this would suggest that price is going to pull back. Um, you know, so we know that on the day, and that's the daily time frame. So we've got these daily topping signals, so to speak, nothing confirmed right now. And we know that price is up at a resistance level that it has not been able to take out for three solid years. So I just say be careful. Yep. Yep. I've been trading it for the last couple of years. It's been somewhat decent to trade. Perfect. Hey, we're going to we're, we're the show is over. My apology. Thanks so much for for calling in. Good to hear from you and have a great day. You do as well, folks out there. And we'll try to get all these problems resolved by tomorrow's show. Take care. Have a great Monday.